Riot inside a New Mexico jail and only on 7, the video of what happened. Target 7's Shelby Cashman shows you the weapons they had to use to get the situation under control. This is the blast that ended the riot. Let's slow that down and take another look. Corrections officers slip a flashbang, which is meant to disorient the inmates, through a slot in the door. One officer covers the slot with his foot and another covers his ears and bang, the inmates on the other side scatter. Here's what it looked like on the other side of that door. A bird's eye view inside the Sandoval County Detention Center shows the blast and inmates running. These officers with shields, gas masks and weapons designed to stop a riot are members of the tactical support unit. Break down now! They were called in last month when documents say corrections officers couldn't get nine inmates to go back to their cells. A court document says this is the moment that specialized team was called in. This view doesn't have audio, so we can't hear what's happening, but you can see one by one, each inmate takes their shirt off and wraps it around their face. The guards leave the room, never turning their backs on the inmates. When the specialized team gets there, there is a battle at that small opening in the door. Inmates shove through blankets and powder and officers trying to push in the barrel of that gun that will fire the flashbang device. After that first bang, the inmates regroup. Give me a gun. They start throwing soapy water under the door, furniture. That's a microwave. It took two rounds of those loud bangs and explosions for the corrections team to get inside. Inmates are cuffed and walked out into the hallway. Inside, you can see water all over the floor. There's that busted microwave, and the air is hard to breathe. Need air. Inmates beg for fresh air. <laughs> and jail guards cough because the air is saturated with pepper spray. Go get some air. Go get some air. For Target 7, Shelby Cashman, KOAT Action 7 News.